to my house. Thank you all for coming. I have with me two lovely ladies from France with two amazing chateaux. To my left, I have Lisa Thrill from Chateau Priore, Le Chine. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. And we have Emmeline Bori from Grand Prix Lacoste. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, folks, I'm so excited about, about this episode uh, of, of Monsterville's Wines in, in my house here that I can't wait to tell you about these wines. These ladies represent two of my favorite wineries all of Bordeaux. And you know, I used to go to Bordeaux every year, but this was actually the first winery I ever visited, the first chateau in Bordeaux I ever went to and did a tour of. So it has a special place in my heart. Liz, tell us a little bit about your chateau. Yes, Chateau Priori Chine is a fourth course in Margaux. It's a very old estate which belonged to the monk since uh, the French Revolution. And um, the name of Chateau Priori Lichine comes from Alexis Lichine, who uh, bought that place in 1951 and gave his name to the chateau. Uh, actually, this estate belonged to the Balland family, and I'm working for them. Excellent, excellent. Well, this is the 2010, uh, which is one of the vintages of the century, as we call it, right? Uh, so tell us about this one in particular. Well, the vintage 2010 is a fantastic vintage, a huge vintage. We call it the smiley vintage mm. because everything happened at the good moment. You know, usually during the harvest period, all the winemakers are very stressed. And in 2010, they were smiling all the time. That's why we say smiley vintage. <laughs> I thought it was smiley because when I drink it, I have a big smile on my face. Oh, yes, me too. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree. <laughs> Well, and, and, and you know, it's, this vintage has a huge aging potential and also a very important concentration. And, and I think that it's really one of the best vintage of the century. Yeah, this is gorgeous. On the nose, can you tell us a little bit about the nose? Because it's classic Margot. It's subtle. It's beautiful. It's perfumed. I mean... Yes, it's, it's, it's very deep and uh, with very complex uh, aromas and it, it, it is uh, with, with some fruit, some vanilla, but not too much oak, not mm -hmm. too much toasty. And uh, for me, it's very elegant as the, the spirit of Margot. You know? Yes, very graceful, very elegant, judicious use of oak. I mean, just perfect oak treatment, not like you're chewing on a, on a, on a two by four, just, just really just subtle oak treatment, vanilla, Gorgeous fruit and finishes nice and just just with so much finesse. Yes, and very smooth and uh, oh, smooth. I like it very smooth. Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, well we must go on. We have we need to talk about another one of my favorites uh, with Emmeline. Emmeline, Grand Prix Lacoste. Yeah. Classic Poya. Tell us a little bit about your, your <laughs> about, about you and, and your your wine. So in fact, it's the it's the family Vian. It's my grandfather who bought the estate in 1978. Um, and since that time, is my father was in charge of the of the winery. Uh, and in fact, is is a real family vineyard because we uh, my parents are still in the chateau. Me, I grew up there. So the little yeah, on this this is the Paul. little chateau, <laughs> the little chateau in Pontiac. Uh, it's a small house. Not a bad little house, Emmeline. <laughs> okay, it's a great location to grow up. I agree with you. <laughs> so um, and what's interesting? So we are in Pontiac and pretty close from the city center. Uh, what is interesting, in fact, is the name Grand Puits, Puy in French means slope, and we are on the top of this, which is not a huge mountain, it's only 20 meters above the river level, uh -huh. so it seems to be pretty low. So it's not the Rocky Mountains? Uh, no, not yet, <laughs> not yet. But when you run the marathon, because there is a very famous marathon in, uh, in the Medoc every September, mm -hmm. the guys who are running that, trust me, they think it's not flat. Okay. And 20 <laughs> is high. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gorgeous wine. Thank so you. 2012, not the vintage of the century, no, no, but no. gorgeous wine nonetheless. Yeah, it's a pretty good one because uh, we used to say that uh, when you are in the wine making, mm -hmm. the September weather will make the wines because most of the time the, way, the, the weather will be different mm -hmm. and it will make some huge difference. So at the beginning with 12, we were a bit scared with the, what we had during spring. And everything's changed during uh, summertime, and especially in September. So at the end, we had something which is pretty ripe, pretty rich. Even if it's not tense or it's not as big as the tense, but you look like a little bit. It's a small tail, let's say. But great balance, amazing power, which is typical Pauillac. I love the pot. I mean, Cabernet dominant, okay? Yeah, it's 76% Capsov and 24 Merlot, so it's and, and And just great presence on the palate. I mean, 
mean, it does not taste like a wine from an average vintage. I mean, this drinks beautifully. Thank you, thank you yeah. very much. But I, as we, you probably know, but uh, maybe not. My niece, is, she's born in 2012, so for my father it was really important, and also for us, to try to manage to, think, to make something great for her. So she will be able to keep some bottles, maybe, and right. be able to taste it when she will be on uh, the age uh, allowed to drink wines. Oh, uh, in <laughs> France, was that 12? Uh, even <laughs> younger than that, time to time. <laughs> but so, they give you a little bit of wine with the finger at that right. time. <laughs> that's great, that's great. So he put a little extra effort, he was in a lot of pressure to yeah. make something special for the birth year. Yeah. He did a great job. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Let him know for me that he did an excellent job with this one. I will tell him. <laughs> Two gorgeous wines, folks. I, I tell you, the Margot and the Pauillac, we have grace, we have femininity, we have just layers of perfume, and here we have power, but balance, and um, incredible length. Great wines, special for Monsterville's wines, our, our, our fans. We have the Prieur Lachine, all right, 6295, 6295 for fine Bordeaux, 2010. And for the Grand Prix Lacoste, we have the price of 5495. Great wines, great prices. Welcome to my house. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.